If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Plus, it helps us generate more resources to continue delivering the news you rely on. Thank you for being part of our community and for supporting quality journalism. Good morning, Davao, Mindanao, North, uh, South, East, and West. This is your newscaster, Elijah Hill Cacho. But before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. For the headlines, our weather forecast. Scattered rain showers and warm temperatures on Mark October 9 across the Philippines. Local news. Barney breaks ties with HTL. City's dissatisfaction with Bastes leadership. HTL denies media claims of Rodi Duterte mayor, mayoral withdrawal. HTL also expels Javi Campos. Roy Elias Lopez aims for political comeback. For our national news, PNP personnel too soon to get their health cards. Rama gathered PDP allies from Team Liberate Cebu. International news. Florida dodge uh, worst case scenario. As many as 51,000 children may be unco uh, unaccompanied in Gaza. Entertainment news. Scientists who use AI to crack the code of almost the pro uh, proteins win Nobel Prize in chemistry. Sean Diddy comes uh, spending his time in jail preparing for his case and visiting with uh, family. Sports news. Rafael Nadal announces his upcoming retirement from tennis. Teenager becomes youngest person to summit world's 14 highest peaks. Featured stories. Manila's urban garden movement grows. Chicago celebrates local artists with cultural events. Trivia The Manila Metropolitan Theater Weather forecast Scattered rain showers with warm temperatures mark October 9 across the Philippines. On October 9, 2024, the weather in the Philippines was influenced by a mix of localized thunderstorms and uh, tropical moisture. The Philippines Astrophysical, uh, Geophysical, and Astronomical Services Administration, also known as PAGASA, reported that many regions, especially in Mindanao and Visayas, experienced scattered rain, uh, showers, and thunderstorms throughout the day. The Luzon, particularly in the National Capital Region or NCR, the weather was generally warm with temperatures reaching around 32 degrees Celsius. But the chances of rain were present, particularly in the afternoon and evening. This weather pattern is uh, typically during the transition uh, to the northeast monsoon season, which often brings uh, increased humidity and rainfall. <music> Local news, Barney breaks ties with HTL, city's dissatisfaction with Bastes' leadership. 
Incumbent Councillor Barney Alag has distanced himself from Davao City Mayor Sebastian Duterte Political Party. Hugpong sa taong lungsod due to dissatisfaction with the mayor's governance. Alag revealed that his relationship with Duterte deteriorated after the mayor's state of the city address in July 2024, where Duterte criticized an unnamed councillor for spreading false statement about the office of the city building official. Media reports suggest Alag was targeted of this criticism. Alag later resigned from the key committee roles and filed his candidacy for vice mayor after being expelled from the party for this loyalty. <music> HDL denies media claims of Rodi's uh, mayoral withdrawal. Hugpong sa taong lungsod, also known as HDL, uh, criticized the media outlets for falsely reporting the former president Rodrigo Duterte withdraw from the Davao City mayoral race to run for senator. In a statement on October 8, 2024, HTL clarified that Duterte remains committed to his political comeback as a Davao City Mayor, a role he held before becoming a president. The party urged the media to uphold journalistic integrity and avoid spreading unverified information. Councillor Bonds Militar emphasized the dangers of disinformation referencing previous incidents. Despite strong pulling for the Senate, Duterte remains focused on returning to the local governance in Davao City. <music> HDL expels Javi Campos. A day after expelling the Alag brothers, Hugpong Satawong Lungsod, HDL also expelled their councillor Javi Campos, who is running for 2nd District Representative. On October 8, 2024, Mayor Sebastian Duterte, HTL Secretary General, revealed that Campos had engaged with another political party, violating party bylaws. Campos' actions were labeled as a serious breach of trust and loyalty. This followed allegations sparked by a photo of Campos with President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. at the political event. Campos filed his candidacy under the Partido Federal ng Pilipinas, citing his ex expulsion as a family decision. The Alag family was expelled similarly for party violations. Roy Elias Lopez aims for political comeback. After an uh, unsuccessful mayoral bid in 2022, Roy Elias Lopez is now running for the 3rd District Representative in the 2025 elections. A position he and his uh, late father Elias Lopez previously held on October 8, 2024. Lopez filed his candidacy under Partido Federal ng Pilipinas, led by President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. L Lopez announced his campaign on Facebook, asking for community support. In a past interview, Lopez revealed a fallout with the Dutertes, stemming from concerns over political power concentration within the Duterte family. His father, Elias, was Davos' first bagobo-blooded mayor and the prominent political figure in the city. PNP personnel to soon get their health cards. The Philippine National Police has partnered with healthcare provider Medicare Plus Incorporated to ensure essential healthcare protection for its personnel. The agreement signed by PNP Chief Police General Romel Francisco Marbil and Medicare Plus CEO Maria Josesa aims to provide a comprehensive healthcare services for police members particularly to those who have served between 20 and 24 years. The coverage includes uh, inpatient, outpatient, emergency services, dental care, consultations, and laboratory tests. Marbil highlighted that the collaborations aligns with a PNP's internal programs to support the well-being of its personnel, ensuring that they can serve with confidence. <laughs> Rama gathered PDP allies forms Team Liberate Cebu. Dismissed Cebu City Mayor Michael Rama has formed a coalition called Team Liberate Cebu, 
challenging the re-electionist Governor Gwendolyn Garcia. Rama announced the alliance on October 10, 2024 during a gathering of Partido Democratico Filipino. PDP members, the coalition includes mayoral aspirations Paz Radaza from Lapu-Lapu City and Blesilda Villo from Consolacion. Alongside the gubernatorial candidate Pamela Bericuatro. Bericuatro described her campaign as a social revolt driven by a desire to help the people, not politics. The rift between Rama and Garcia, once political allies, stemmed from disagreements over the Cebu bus rapid transit project. International News Florida Dodge Worst Case Scenario FEMA or FEMA Director Diane Criswell stated Thursday that Florida narrowly avoided a worst case scenario from Hurricane Milton. Speaking on CNN, Criswell credited the state's uh, preparedness for minimizing the storm's impact, with tornadoes being the most significant threat, while Florida will still require uh, resources. Criswell noted that they won't need the level initially feared. FEMA is uh, also continuing its response to Hurricane Helen which recently affected the southeast. Additionally, Chris will highlighted the reduction of misinformation after Hurricane Milton. Thanks to a strong effort from governors, congressional leaders, and local officials to counter false narratives. 51,000 children may be unaccompanied in Gaza, human rights agency sites. The International Resource Committee, or IRC, reported that the number of unaccompanied or separated children in Gaza may have reached as high as 51,000 since the start of the conflict, previously estimated at around, around 17,000 in June. The IRC's new research indicates that this figure has tripled due to the increase of displacements, arrests, evacuation orders, and fatalities. The situation has led to the children being found alone in hospitals, raising concerns about exploitation, neglect, and mental health issues. The ongoing humanitarian crisis has resulted in significant ca casualties with at least 11,355 children reported killed. The IRC calls for immediate action from the international community to address the urgent long-term health needs of these children. Entertainment news. Scientists who use AI to crack the code of almost all proteins win Nobel Prize in Chemistry. The 2024 Nobel Prize in Chemistry has been awarded to David Baker, Demis Hassabis and John Jumper for their innovative use of artificial intelligence in decoding proteins, vital for life. Bigger receiver recognition for creating entirely new types of proteins, while Hassabis and Jumper developed the AlphaFold Protein Structure Database, a groundbreaking AI model that predicts complex protein structures. Their work has revolutionized research with over 16,000 citations since its launch. The prize, worth 11 million Swedish kroner, which is equivalent to $1 million, highlights the significant protein, uh, potential of these discoveries in pharmaceutical and vaccines. The recognition also emphasizes AI's transformative role in science, aligning with this year's Nobel Prize in Physics awarded for advancements in artificial neural networks. Sean Diddy comes spending his time in jail preparing for his case and visiting with family. Sean Diddy Combs spent three weeks in jail focusing on his defense as he awaits trial on charges of re racketeering conspiracy sex trafficking and transportation for prostitution.
to which he has pleaded not guilty. Family visits have been a source of support during his time at Brooklyn's Metropolitan Detention Center. Combs' attorneys are pushing for a trial date in April or May 2025, having been denied bail twice. Additionally, his legal team filed a motion accusing the government of leaking evidence, including a video showing him assaulting his ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura, which they claim undermines his right to a fair trial. The government denies these allegations, asserting they did not possess the video before its release. Sports News Rafael Nadal announces his upcoming retirement from tennis. Tennis legend Rafael Nadal has announced his retirement after a remarkable career, during which he won 22 Grand Slam titles. The 38-year-old plans to uh, compete for Spain in Davis Cup Finals in November as he, his final tournament. Nadal has faced ongoing injury challenges that have limited his play, particularly over the past two seasons. In a heartfelt video, he expressed that the decision to retire was difficult but necessary, stating, everything has a beginning and an end. With 14 French Open titles and a celebrated rivalry with Novak Djokovic and Roger Federer, Nadal leaves a lasting legacy in tennis. Federer praised him, calling it an absolute honor to compete against him. Teenager becomes the youngest person to summit world's 14 highest peaks. Neymar Rinji Sherpa, an 18-year-old Nepalese teenager, has made history as the youngest person to summit all 14 of the world's highest peaks. Known as a 88,000 years, he achieved this remarkable feat by reaching the summit of Shisham Pama, standing at 8,027 meters at 6.05 a.m. local time on Wednesday. This climb marked the final ascent in his quest, which began on September 2022 with 8,163 meter, uh, meter mana slope. Previously, Mingma Gyobo David Sharper hel held the record, completing all 14 peaks by age 30 in 2019. Nema's journey included, included summiting Everest and the dangerous K2, showcasing his uh, exceptional mountaineering skills. His achievement has been confirmed by the Nepal Mountaineering Association. <music> Featured Stories Chicago celebrates local artists with cultural events. Chicago is buzzing with an excitement as it kicks off its cultural renaissance program to support local artists. The city is hosting monthly art shows, live music, and workshops in different neighborhoods. This month, the West Loop will have an outdoor art fair where new artists can showcase their work alongside more famous ones. City leaders believe this program will bring neighborhoods together and help everyone appreciate the city's rich art scene. Manila's urban garden movement grows. In Manila, more people are starting urban gardens, turning empty rooftops and lots into green spaces. Community groups are Leading projects or leading projects to help residents grow their own vegetables and herbs, creating a sense of togetherness. The Gardens in the Sky project is especially popular as it helps families save money and food. Local officials are now supporting these gardens, showing that green spaces are important for city living and a healthcare environment. <music> Thank you.
trivia. The Manila Metropolitan Theater. Did you know that the Manila Metropolitan Theater, often uh, overshadowed by more famous landmarks, is a hidden gem of Art Deco architecture? Opened in 1931, this stunning venue has hosted a variety of performances, including opera, play, and theater. Although it fell into despair over the years, recent restoration efforts have brought it back to life, making it a vital part of Manila's cultural scene. Visitors can enjoy not only the captivating performance but also the intricate architectural details that reflect the Philippines' rich artistry heritage. It's a most visit for everyone who is interested in the art history. That is all for our news today. Once again, this is your newscaster Elijah Hilcacho. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Good morning, Dava. If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Plus, it helps us generate more resources to continue delivering the news you rely on. Thank you for being part of our community and for supporting quality journalism.